Hi guys, this is Mrs. Devan. Today we're going to be talking about boom cards. So whether you're a teacher that needs resources for home learning or you're a parent that needs some educational activities for your little ones at home, this is going to be something interesting for you. Um, boom cards are basically digital task cards that can be used on computers, tablets, mobile devices. Um, so this is especially important if your students have all different kinds of devices. There are two ways to use boom cards. One is to use it through a browser, so anything like Google Chrome or Safari, and the other is to download the app. Um, I am providing some free boom cards. I'll link to the blog post that I've written about boom cards down here. Um, I'll also link it down below. And um, in there, I've included a one-page quick start guide. But let's see what it would look like for students. So I'm going to screen record what's happening over here on the tablet so you can get a better view. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go to Chrome. So if students have a tablet, a mobile device, they can do it um, that way. It could also be a computer. So in Chrome, we can type in Boom Cards. That's one way to get us to the Boom Learning website. Another way is to just type it in directly, boomlearning.com. So we can type it up here. There it is, boomlearning.com. And all students are gonna do is they're gonna be looking for this blue fast play button. Once we tap on that button, it's gonna ask us for a pin. I've created a pin um, that's good until the end of March right now. This is VJAO. And so students will click on play and instantly they're able to play online. <clears throat> um, here the students will be able to listen. Man. It does have audio support, and then they can drag and drop. If a student does it incorrectly, and they try to submit it, it'll give them some instant feedback, and then allow them to try it again. Can. So there are 15 of these drag and drop ones. And then we'll get to the next type of task cards. One second. Here is the other type of task card. Um, if a student doesn't know the sound for the letter, it does give them that audio support again. Buttons. Apple. Nest. And down here on the bottom, the button tells them what the picture is. Van. Map. So these are 30 boom cards for students to use, and they are all focusing on the CVC short A. Um, I do have other resources that are on there as well, and um, I really hope that this is an activity that you can use at home with your little ones or your teacher that um, you try boom learning. So boom learning is offering some free ultimate accounts to any teacher let me read their email that was sent out this morning um, to any teacher that was affected by the covid 19 school closures these accounts are good through june 30th of 2020 which means that you'll have the rest of the school year to use them by giving teachers ultimate accounts they will be able to author with sound to get their curriculum online for students um, all you all, all i use to record my voice is um, onlinevoicerecorder.com and I'll link it down below as well. But um, making boom cards is not very difficult. It's similar to making a PowerPoint. You kind of just drag in some, some text boxes. You can add photos. You can add that sound. And um, I always learn best by clicking all the buttons and seeing what they do. So I encourage you to give it a try, especially that Boom Learning is offering the accounts for free for the rest of the year. Um, I hope you liked boom cards and see you soon.